Hi, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to install uh, an SSL certificate on Tomcat um, for the Amazon EC2 server. I'm going to be using the GoDaddy uh, certificate authority and uh, there'll be sp certain specifics related to the website, the server that I'm using from Amazon and GoDaddy, but Hopefully there'll be enough concepts that'll run consistent to other server types and um, certificate authority. So the first thing is, I'm not going to show you how to buy a certificate from the certificate authority. Uh, but I've bought one here for one of our domains. <clears throat> and, uh, and I get to the main SSL certificate management page. So... Uh, Download is when I want to download keys, a set of keys in a zip format, but uh, we can't do that yet. Uh, we need to rekey the uh, certificate. So uh, in a, we're going to come back to this page. So we first need to create a per private and public key pair on our, on our server to be protected on our Amazon server. And then the history shows when your certificate's been rekeyed and when uh, and w w whether it's ready or not. So I'm going to um, I'm going to open up an SSL terminal window and connect to my Amazon server. And then I'm going to make a directory called uh, test. And I'll go into the test key into the test folder. Uh, I've got notes that I'm including at the bottom of this video, and they're fairly extensive. Uh, I'm going to use them to uh, save time on the key typing in because they're kind of long. But I'll explain what they are and what, what's important about them. So the first thing we need to do is use a tool that comes with the Java development kit called Key Tool. And it's, it's used to create a, a file which stores certificates and it's also used to create a private and public key pair real quickly SSL works with you know public key in infrastructure with and there's a two key um, set that has a relationship where one key can be used to encrypt something and the other key can be used to decrypt it and so using these techniques you can both prove that you originated a document or you can have other people send you documents that only you can decrypt. So this is what, what we, we leave the certificate authority in charge of key private keys uh, uh, to make the whole thing work. So what, what we've got here is we're going to gen, generate a key pair. We're going to use this file born.keystore. So that's going to become a file in the, in the folder that we're working in. Uh, we pass passwords. Uh, so we have a key password and a storage password. I use the same one uh, for simplicity. We're going to use an RSA algorithm. There are other algorithms. I always use RSA. Uh, key strength, 2048 bits. It's pretty strong. Uh, and then here's a key, key argument, the alias. So the alias I'm going to use is Tomcat. And this is very important that we keep track of this alias because we're going to use it more than once. Um, and there's a the last argument here is we're using a new format. They, they shifted formats a couple of years ago. So this is the more modern format. Now when I hit enter, I'm going to be asked some standard questions. We're entering human readable answers. So common practice is to put in the name of the website that you're protecting and not your first and last name. And then the organization unit is like the department. So I'll say IT department. Could be anything. It's not that important. But this one, we want to put in a good, a good name. So I'll put in uh, Joe's Auto Body. And that's used to, to validate that, that I'm protecting the website, you know, that you, you think is, is there. And so we'll be in Boston, Mass. I always type out the full uh, state. Country is this correct? Yes. <clears throat> so now we've created a file which is our key store, and we use the key tool piece of software to do that. So the next thing we need to do 
is to provide to, to, to GoDaddy our public key that GoDaddy will use to make sure that only we can see things that are encrypted using that public key. So to do this, we need to, we need to uh, we need to generate a certificate request, which is basically a an encoded version of our public key that's coming out of the key store file. So I'll paste this in, and it's a key tool command. We're going to request let's make a certificate request. So we we're eventually going to get a certificate back from GoDaddy, which is their public key for us to use to make sure only they can get information. This is how the SSL security is going to work. Each of us has the public key for the other, and only each of us has the private key to make sure we can understand what uh, what to do with information passed through the secure pipeline. Uh, <clears throat> again, same, same RSA. Very important. Use that same alias when you're generating the the uh, certificate request that you used when you created the key store because we we need to correlate we need to say which private key and public key we want to draw from um, we're gonna make a file name up could be anything I just use csr.csr but uh, it's anything you want uh, and then here's our key store file and so we use the same password that I used in the in, to create to create the file So now we have um, a CSR file, and if I type it out, you can see this is a base64 encoding, which is just an alphanumeric encoding of binary data. And we literally want to copy this, so the easiest way I find is you just put it in the old clipboard and just make sure you get the, the first, every bit of it from the top to the bottom. Now we're going to go back to our GoDaddy website and we're going <clears> to <throat> supply the CSR contents to, oh, to GoDaddy. Okay, so I've already bought the key. Uh, you can actually do enter this when you first buy the key, but the CSR goes into this rekey the certificate. So because I already bought the key, I've already given it the main website to be protected and others. There are some other options here. They're not really key. If, you, if you're protecting multiple domains uh, or you wanted to change up your, your, your security, your encryption algorithms, you can do that here. So you enter the, P, the, uh, the CSR that you copied and pasted. You can see it's all in here. And then I would just hit the Save button, which is a submit. I'm not going to do that because it's a live certificate and boy do I not want to recreate this but here's a key the history button uh, if we can get it to work will will tell you when GoDaddy has taken the CSR and generated the output that we're looking for which is cut which is a new certificate from them so as soon as you see you know today's date and time on the history page it's, it's safe to download the result. So when you press download, we're going to download a zip file that has keys in it that we need. We need one in particular. And different web servers have different, different formats. So we picked Tomcat because that's what we're using, but there are others here. And uh, you'll have to sort that out if it's not Tomcat. And then I download the zip file. So I've already downloaded the zip file. They would just go into your download area and then I usually rename it. And we're going to jump right to uh, where it's being used back on. So we're going to take that zip file and upload it to uh, our Amazon server. The next thing we're going to do is go to a, a GoDaddy archive where there's a couple of standard keys that, that are used with GoDaddy. One is their root key and one is their intermediate key. Uh, I'm going to pause and go grab that okay so I've got the um, the URL for their archive so here in their archive they've got all kinds of helpful files this one gd root hyphen g2.crt is their root file you need that so we would we download that and then we upload it to our Amazon server because we're gonna put that into our key store file 
Uh, the second one is this intermediate file, which is g2igd.crt. So uh, this one right here, intermediate certificate, G2. We would download that and also put it on our Amazon server. So I've already done that. Okay, I just paused while I uploaded all those files. Um, <clears throat> now if I look in our, our folder, I have this zip file, which is the one I downloaded from GoDaddy that I I uploaded the CSR file that I generated and then it gave me this zip file. So if I unzip it, we get three files. Uh, the first one, this GD bundle, is used to overcome, I think, a, a, a security problem that temporarily existed between uh, during Java 7, between SHA-1 and SHA-2. So I don't use it. Like I just assume that the browsers are newer and everything's newer. The next one is it has the name, the name of the intermediate, but also is of a type of a PEM file, which is typically used for uh, security exchange. I use the intermediate file that's that I downloaded from the archive off of the GoDaddy page. So remember, I downloaded a root file and an intermediate file off the archive page, and I've also got those uploaded. I'm going to copy them over in a second. And this third file is the one we really want, which is the uh, public key we use with GoDaddy to secure information on the way back. So this is a, this is a key that we need to import into our key store. This is really the, the end of our chain. So I'm going to copy the files, uh, which I have, I think, in... Uh, here, GD root. Well, let, me, let me see where I got it. Hold on one second. All right, so I was able to uh, bring in my my uh, archive root and intermediate certificate, which is GD uh, root uh, hyphen G two dot CRT. That's the root and gdig2.crt. So the next thing we got to do is build our, our certificate chain um, with these three keys. So I'm just going to paste these in, but I'll explain them. So the first thing that you add is the root, the root key, GoDaddy's root key. And it has, uh, it has the import command, so it's key tool again, import alias is root, not Tomcat, which we used uh, when we created the file. I always use root. It really could be anything you want as long as it's not Tomcat. Then the name of the key store file and that this is, a, we're importing a certificate and the name of the certificate is the root file name. So we'll just add that. Now the, the, there is a there is a root, there's a folder in Java's development kit for, for root root uh, passwords, certificates rather, for all the major certificate authorities. So I like to add it to the file. Now we're going to add the intermediate. So this one is GD IG2.CRT, not the PEM file. And we need to give it its own unique alias, which I use intermed. And everything else is good to go. And now finally we want to add the private key. Now the key thing about this step is you got to use that same, oops, you got to use the same um, alias that you used when you first created the file, which is Tomcat in this case. So we used that same alias three times when we created it, when we pulled out the CSR for, for our public key, and now when we add the, the uh, private key from GoDaddy. Now it hangs together. Okay, the key store file is ready. So there's a few more steps we've got to do. <clears throat> 
First, if you want to look at it, there's a command here, and this is all at the bottom of the uh, video, so you can get a get a listing. And this is a, a verbose version. If you leave off the hyphen f uh, hyphen v, you get a terse version. What you're mostly looking for are the aliases that you use: the root, the intermid. And uh, and the Tomcat, they're all in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. So if you're interested, you can you can like look around. Here's the Tomcat. It's kind of complex, uh, but gives you peace of mind. Uh, the, the next thing is we need to set the ownership and security on Linux to be very specific. So um so tomcat is very fussy about this it'll give you an error if you don't do this it's a requirement okay so we've got read write read write read and i want to do uh read write read read so that's ch mod 644 Good. Read, write, read, read. And then we want to do the ownership for security purposes to be user Tomcat group Tomcat. Good. So that file is now ready to go. So the last thing we really have to do other than test it is to put it into our Tomcat configuration so we're going to move this into a file location that is synchronized with one of the configuration files so I'm going to edit the um, Tomcat server.xml file which I've already got here oops typo Oh, VI, yes. Good old VI. So we're going to look for the contain connector that I've got defined and go through the, the various properties. Here's the, here's the one with that's active. It's not commented out. So uh, we're, we're using a derivative of uh, the SSL port because uh, Amazon doesn't allow you to have Ports open under a thousand, so we have to do a port forwarding, which is in the notes if you need to know how to do that. Uh, HTTPS, SSL enabled, yes, true. The name of the key store file, so we're going to put it into etc. Tomcat, whatever number. And there's our good old key store dot, uh, born dot key store file name. You got to have the password in installed in there. Um, and then TLS is the uh, is is the uh, exchange you know the private key exchange protocol so that's how you modify the the tomcat server and then uh we're really you can restart tomcat after that and then there's a couple of websites out there that allow you to test your ssl you just point your browser to it i've got one in the um in the notes and i hope that this helped because uh there's not a lot of documentation, and you can really pull your hair out of it. But, but especially the use of the if, of, of key tool and having those pass of the aliases be synchronized correctly, specifically the one I call Tomcat, is one of the key key things. And then I also found downloading the the root and intermediate for 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 born. I mean for um, for GoDaddy was you know much better and worked smoother. And so, uh, good luck.